So, a few months ago, I actually started working again after having my son Casey. And since then, it has been a crazy time of trying to find my feet again with what, <laughs> how to actually build a business successfully when you have a baby. <laughs> So um, in this video I want to talk all about the routine that I've created for myself to help me to actually get the most out of my time now that my time looks drastically different to before Casey came along. <laughs> I've also made two other videos about um, what it's been like to have a baby and build a business um, because I know so many other people, so many other women out there are wondering like how can I do it and a lot of people have been asking me about you know how I'm coping. Obviously I'm not a remotely any kind of expert at this, my son is eight months old. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to just share my experience of what I have gone through. So if you're interested in checking out the other videos, um, the first one was all about preparing for having a baby. The second one was what actually happens when the baby arrives. Um, so yeah, this one I want to talk about routine. Okay, so um, I took about two and a half months off when I had Casey on maternity leave, where I largely just didn't do any work. Um, which was absolutely incredible. When I realised that I just had the freedom to do that, it was amazing. And I was so grateful to my um, future self for putting myself in a position where I could actually take time off and the business was still continuing to, to move forward. Everyone, everything was taken care of. It was so amazing to be in that position. Um, but then when I actually then started working again, um, I didn't really have a plan for how it was all going to be or what I was going to do. And so I ended of kind of struggling there were some real key things that I found tough so firstly I felt like I was really out of the loop with what was going on because I hadn't been involved in the business um, and and that made me then feel totally disconnected to the business and that then led to me feeling utterly confused I was confused about where my place was in the business anymore what was I actually supposed to be doing and I wasn't in a place to be creative and I felt like I needed to be creative I needed to get back on it I needed to get back on social media I needed to get back doing content and I just I didn't want to like I just didn't want to do it and um, that was really hard to deal with because I was like I should be doing this stuff because it's a huge part of growing my business but I really don't want to do it and it felt like such a struggle for me and then the final thing that I really struggled with was just massive amounts of guilt <laughs> I know everyone says the guilt never goes away and I, I really believe that um, but I just felt really guilty because all of a sudden I was spending all my days with Casey and now I'd changed and, it, and I was working and I wasn't spending as much time with him and I was focused and thinking again about work rather than thinking about him and even just doing that in itself made me feel bad like god I should be thinking about Casey not thinking about work and it was just oh it just so was so confusing um, and crazy so um, there were some really key things that helped me to overcome that and some things that I have done that have helped me to create more structure so that I can actually get that help me to get back into the flow with it all so I really want to share that stuff with you so the first thing that I want to share that really helped me is this the question who do you want to be for yourself and for your baby like who do you want to be when I so when I was feeling really guilty I realized that I actually am all about living your best life about seeing what's possible achieving incredible things pushing yourself to make incredible things happen. That's what I believe in and that's who I want to be. And I realized that I need to still be me and still do that so that I can show Casey that you can achieve incredible things, you can do amazing things, like you can have an idea and turn it into a huge success. So I wanted to be that person for him too. So I knew that if I wanted to be that person for him, I wanted to be that person for me, then I needed to stop feeling guilty because I, know, I knew that in order to, to do those things and to continue to build my business, I had to take time away from him. That was just part of it. But it was something that I could do that he would be, hopefully he will be proud of me for doing it. And I can be proud of me for doing it. And it, I shouldn't feel guilty that I'm creating something amazing um, because he can see that and he can learn so much from it so I just think you've got to think about who you want to be who do you want to be for your baby and then just own it <laughs> literally own it and stop feeling guilty because or just you know, you're gonna keep feeling guilty but just get in that frame of mind so that you can 
stop the guilt from stopping you from getting on with what you need to do. Um, so that is the first thing that I wanted to share. So the second thing is, um, just don't try and do both at the same time. Like this is easier said than done because obviously there are times when I'm trying to like do something work-wise and cases asleep on me and I'm like trying to type one-handed. That literally happened today. <laughs> <laughs> um, typos galore um, but yeah I one of the things I try and remind myself of is just don't try and do both at the same time like if I'm with Casey I'm with Casey I'm not on my phone I'm not on my computer I'm not thinking about work I am with him hanging out with him having fun with him and being in the moment with him but then when I'm at work I am working and I'm focused and I'm in the zone and um, and, and I think this is really important because if you try and do both at the same time and it's all a bit blurry, you just end up feeling a bit crap because you're doing a crap job at both. Like you're not being there for your baby and you're not being there for your business. Um, and so yeah, it's not really a great feeling. So definitely don't try and do both at the same time if you can avoid it. <laughs> um, so that's the second thing. So the third thing is create a routine for yourself. So um, for me, when I did it, it was literally life changing because I've been stuck in this place where it was kind of like trying to find pockets of time throughout the day where I could work. And so my husband, Kellen is amazing. He is he's here to help me with Casey, which for me is, is such a blessing. And I know that not everyone is in that situation but um, f but for me, he is here, so it would be like, Kellen, can you just look after Casey for a second? I just need to go and do some work. And then I'd go off for half an hour and do some work. And then um, and then it was just all a bit blurry and it was like so bitty. And I was just really struggling to find momentum with it. And then I was like, I can't do this anymore. I need to create routine. And so I ended up um, deciding that on Wednesdays and Fridays, I was gonna take them off from work and they would be my Casey days. Um, and so when I did that, I was like, right, they're non-negotiable like i am having these days off to spend with casey so when i wake up in the morning i think what a fun adventures are me and casey going to go on today and it's been absolutely amazing since i've done that um there obviously have been times when we've been in a launch for example where that definitely went out the window but then for the rest of the time it was so good to structure my day like that so I don't let calls creep in I don't let meetings creep in I really am firm that no this day is just reserved for Casey um, at least while he's awake obviously when he's asleep at night then I can have calls and do other stuff too and that meant that on the days on Monday Tuesdays and Thursdays during the times when I was working because um, I had him in the morning so I uh, will have him in the morning so it's from like 12 to about 6 five or six ish that I'm then working every day on those days. And even though it's way less time than I'm used to um, actually working, it meant that I had to get really laser focused on what I need to um, prioritize. So even though it was a shorter period of time, I get way more done because I'm like, right, this is it. This is all the time I've got. I've just got to be so focused and just get on with the crucial things that are going to actually make an impact and make a difference for FEA. And so, yeah, while there's less time, you have the ability to just become so much more efficient and effective with your time. And you have to, because otherwise you're just going to not, you're not going to make the progress that you want to make. So just set a clear routine for yourself, something that works really well for you. Um, and that feels good for you and that allows you to clearly see throughout the week okay these are my dedicated work times these are my dedicated baby times my next tip is just to really be patient with yourself because it just takes so long to actually find your feet like for me obviously I'm still trying to figure this out <laughs> um, and I have great days and I have days that I'm like what has just happened like when Casey actually started to move around it was so it changed everything because you can't leave him for two seconds now without watching him because he's off. And so that changed everything. So obviously everything changes all the time, but I just think it's about being patient with yourself and just letting go and just thinking, oh, it is an adventure and it's fun. And I don't, yeah, I don't have it figured out. And yeah, just so giving yourself um, permission to just enjoy it and not put so much pressure on yourself. Okay, so another tip is obviously to get help and support. So what help and support do you need in order to be able to grow your business? So for a lot of entrepreneurs that I know, they have nannies, they have full-time nannies. And um, well, some have full-time nannies, some have part-time nannies, some have husbands that are taking care of the baby. Um, so it just depends what works for you. Some people put them in the babies in nursery, so, but you need to figure out how you're going to make it work because I would not be able to focus on doing a good job if I was trying to work and I had Casey 
and I don't, I'd also feel really, I think I'd feel a lot, I, I, when I did do it, I, I felt so guilty because I was like, oh, Casey's there and I'm not really paying attention to him. Um, so I do think it's really important that you get that help and support. So somebody takes the baby, looks after the baby so that you have dedicated work time. And if not, then it's, it's just trying to figure out how you can work effectively when they have a nap. Like Casey's naps are all over the place at the moment. Um, so it was, it's not a really, a really a sure thing. Um, but I do know other entrepreneurs who do work in nap times, but you know, if, you, if you're building a successful business, it's, tr it's figuring out how to get that help and support so that you know, okay, I've got these, these hours available here to do some focused work. Um, so yes, knowing what help and support you need so that you can actually um, get focused and do the work. And so the final thing that I want to say on this that has really, really helped me is that I just think it's about knowing what the, the vision is for the life that you want to live um, and the things that you want to achieve. Um, and then how the baby like slots into all of that. Like for me, I know that I want to be successful. I want to live an incredible life. Um, I want to achieve amazing things. And that does require me to work hard. Like I have to put in the work and the effort in order to create the lifestyle that I want to live. And, um, the heart of that is sacrifice. It means I don't get to spend as much time with Casey as perhaps it would, I, I would like, but that's the reality. And I feel like the life that I want to create for us as, as a family is really important. Therefore, that sacrifice is worth it. And I need to be intentional about making sure I do spend enough quality time with him, obviously, because he's, um, he's everything to me. Um, but I think it's also, if, if you've got a really clear vision for yourself, it's knowing that what do you need to do in order to bring that vision into reality and how are you gonna make it work? And just figuring out and being creative about how you are going to do it. Because obviously all of us are in different circumstances, um, but even if it's like 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, five hours, five hours a day, whatever it is that you can spare to work on your vision, on your dream, um, you've got to dedicate that time to it so that you can actually start to see it flourish and that you can make progress to getting towards where you want um, and being clear about why you want to get there, why it's important for you, and then also why it's important for you all as a family to do it. Um, and I think that when you hold that vision um, for your life and for your, for your baby's life, it helps to make it easier to actually then put in the work and to make some of those sacrifices. Um, I don't really like the word sacrifice because it sounds so bad, but like, let's be honest, like if you want to achieve anything incredible, you have to put the work in. Um, so I think it's about being honest with yourself about that and then figuring out, okay, so how am I going to do it in a way that feels good for me and that's doable. So those are some things that have been really helping me. Like I said, I'm still so early days in this whole adventure and so I'm sure there's loads of new things that I'm going to learn in the months to come. But if you have got a baby or you've been through it yourself with multiple children, it would be so amazing to hear from you on it. So definitely leave a comment and get involved in the conversation. Um, but yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed hearing my experience and take on what it's like having a baby and running a business. Um, and I will see you soon.